Hello to everyone out there. I'm Rachel. Welcome to my soap making and DIY channel. I hope you're having a lovely day and not freezing too bad. It's cold even here in my basement right now, so I got my hat on and I'm having a bad hair day, so you know, that works out just great. I wanted to send a quick shout out, send some love to all those truckers out there that have been working hard trying to get deliveries made even despite the crazy blizzard we just had. Here in South Dakota, in the eight years I've been living here, I think this is the worst as far as snow drifts and temperatures and wind. And we've had some friends move here from warmer climates that are like, is this really South Dakota? And we're like, yeah, sometimes. So thank you to all of you truckers out there. My daddy was a trucker for several years before he passed from cancer, and I know how hard it can be even on a good day. So thank you for sticking with it and surviving through all those snow drifts. So today we are making a citric acid soap with some soap scraps to be like a fun confetti type design. I've been saving these up for a while from all the ones that I listed for the holidays. So I sprinkled a bunch of those in a mold, and if you don't know about citric acid in soaps, not only does it help reduce soap scum, but it also boosts the lather and extends the shelf life. So that's like all good things. So the only calculations you really need to know to try this out for yourself, I'll make sure I have it down in the description as well, but you basically use about one to 2% of the oil weight in citric acid, and then however many grams it is, you times it by 0 0.624, and that's the amount of grams extra you would like to use of lye, because the citric acid and the lye react and consume some of the lye. So you wanna make sure that you add a little extra to make up for that so that way you don't end up with a mushy soap bar because you didn't have enough lye in it. So that's the main thing to know. And for this one, I decided to fragrance it with a variety of essential oils, including Litsi Kubeba. I don't know why, but I really like citruses in soaps when I'm washing dishes. It just kind of like hits you like a wave of happiness and refreshing feelings. And Litsi Kubeba, tends to stick around more of a citrus scent more so than some other citruses, unless you're gonna use like a five-fold or a 10-fold for like uh, orange or lemon, or you could use some pink grapefruit. I love all of those. So any blend like that would do, or my absolute favorite blend would be like a zesty mint, so spearmint and lime. Any of those would work for this. So you choose what you like, and then of course it depends on what kind of random soap scrap you have laying around. And then I did a fun little swirl design on top. So I'll show you right now. I just made this a couple days ago, how it turned out, and then we will cut it together. Nobody but take a listen Just like everybody else I've got a story I don't know how to say it nice I shine it up and make it glisten All I know is I believe in it's reassuring When I was out, when I was down Somebody told me something So simple but I thought
but you better listen. every day you might as well have a little fun with it right pick your favorite smell make it look like a party then dishes aren't quite so bad <laughs> and I kind of think this looks like a confetti party cake pretty fun let me know in the comments below what do you do with your soap scraps and have you ever used citric acid in soap before if so let me know how it went thanks guys for joining me today and I will see you on the next one soon Bye.